So we are seeing this game between Paul Rudolph on Bill Guerre versus Tassilo von Heidebrand und der Lassa and it was played in Berlin in 1837. So let's see the game. So white starts with e4, black plays c5, f4, knight c6, knight f3, e6, c3, controlling important square when preparing for d4, d5, attacking the e4 pawn, e5, he doesn't want to exchange, d4, uh, so I'm not allowing white to play d4, that uh, you could do that, but uh, actually here in the game, uh, yeah, black played f, sorry, yeah, in this position after e5, black played f5, and then uh, white played d4, yes, yeah? so white got the chance to play d4, which is good, and here c cross d4, c cross d4, and now knight h6, so black cannot play knight f6, so what to do? He played in the side, okay, but then he's getting it ahead. Um, knight c3 now, developing the knight. a6, stopping knight b5 or bishop b5 mainly. So now you can't come here and pin that knight. Bishop d3, okay, so white said, okay, if I can't come here, I'll come here. Bishop d3, knight f7. Uh, knight f7, the idea is to stop this, okay, you can say. And uh, if he wants, he can even prepare for this afterwards. Castle. And then h6, yes, so he is doing that. a3, and as per the plan, black played g5. So black is now starting the attack on the king side. f cross the g5, h cross the g5. And suddenly, if you see, uh, it's very good for black. He is having open file. Okay, white shouldn't have uh, captured that. You can say, but he did that, and now white black has very good chance. So bishop e2, um, giving support because now the threat was this g4. The knight had to move somewhere, and then white uh, black could capture it. So before moving anywhere, he wanted to give support with the queen. So bishop goes back. And then g4, yeah, as per the plan, the pawn is now coming ahead, knight e1, and then bishop h6, okay, so this is a good diagonal, the bishop was controlling that, so black said I will also challenge that control. Now knight c2, white is moving this knight somewhere else because he couldn't do anything on this side, but uh, now black is getting more pieces forward and uh, it's a very good attack on this side. So, uh, white is in trouble now. He has to do something special right now. Otherwise, almost like game over. Yeah, black can just finish the game very fast because he has very good attack with these pieces. And the bishop can move anytime somewhere like this. And then there will be a problem. So, let's see. G3. Okay, this was a mistake. Not so good. Okay, instead, he could have played something like rook f4 to stop the bishop's attack. But uh, he made a big mistake. This uh, g3 was played and from here, now it is very easy. Uh, is black to play mate in 3? And yes, let's see what happened. Uh, bishop e3 check. Yes, that's what I was telling. And now if you capture bishop cross e3, there is a mate in 1. Queen cross h2, I'll just show you. Uh, bishop cross e3, queen cross h2 checkmate. So you can't do that. So he thought I'll do the other one, rook f2. But still that is also not uh, helping because now black played queen cross h2 check. The only move is king f1. Why can't you capture with the rook? Because you can see the bishop is pinning the rook. So king f1 and finally uh, there are two different checkmates, queen h1 and queen cross f2. Yes, black chose this one. So this is how black won the game.